You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for the Wacky Tibbities Kinetic Sand. Never dries out. I have two pounds here. One touch will blow your mind for ages three plus. I have the box on its side because it just looks pretty cool. Sand in motion. Let me flip it over so that's what it really looks like when it's standing up. And we'll see here what they say. Never dries out. Ooh, some more product information. Your hands stay clean. Clean up as a breeze. Easy to shape and mold. Never dries out. Amazing flowing motion. You'll never put it down. Well, I have to put it down at some point. Okay, Kinetic Sand play stimulates and develops children's fine motor and creative playing skills. Kinetic Sand is the perfect material for open-ended, non-directed play. I like that, non-directed. Let's see, it's from Spin Master, and do they tell you the ingredients? If kinetic sand gets wet, let it air dry and it'll return to the same texture as before. So, they don't want you. Avoid getting kinetic sand wet. It says right there. Store kinetic sand in a sealed container to keep clean and dust free. So they don't give you necessarily the mix of what's inside. Made in Sweden. <laughs> Maybe I'm just missing it. Maybe it'll be inside. Let's see. Let me cut the tape on this. A little piece of tape right here. Flip it open and let's see what we have. There we go. Product of Sweden. Oh, I was trying to stretch it out and I just ripped it. That was an accident. Okay, keep the bag. Okay, so it's just really about the bag. I don't see anything else. Oh, it already had a hole in it. No, I didn't do that. Alright, so there's my out. I don't have to cut it. It's on my table. Look at that. And let's just get it all in here. And let's take a look. Pretty cool, huh? Kinetic sand. It moves cool. I like it. Now, we've had a lot of requests for this. People want to see the kinetic sand. Now, we have the sand. Have you ever seen sand? I have some here. So we're going to compare kinetic sand to sand. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I will just keep playing here and we'll do some different things. I have some stuff to shape here. Let's do some of that now just so we can check it out. I've got some forms here. I happen to have a, where'd he go? A Snoopy. It's like a vintage Snoopy mold. I actually have all the characters, Snoopy and Charlie Brown. So let me just show you some of the shapes. Now let me try to make that a little bit better. I've got Charlie Brown here in a couple poses here. Let's just get a few more out here and continue this play here. It's free play, remember? I don't have to do anything in particular. Let's see if he comes out any better. Oh yeah, look at him. Get off of Charlie Brown there, get off of Snoopy. There you go. Let me get a little bit further here. Put a couple of my little, I've got some glow in the dark dinosaurs. They're gonna be, he's not. I just happened to find him on my way to the shapes. Oh, look, I've got all kinds of glow-in-the-dark ones. That'll be cool. Maybe I'll do that in a second here. Let me get them in the light. Let me get more of them in the light. Yes. Soak up the light. Look at them all. Nice little collection of glow-in-the-darks. 
Okay, so those will just sit back there and watch and soak up the lights. Let me get some, uh, let me redo my Snoopy. I kind of rushed him. See if I can just reshape him. Yeah, let me start fresh. A fresh Snoopy. Let's go, buddy. I'll use this tool now to clean a little bit. But you see it holds its shape really nice. I kind of just tapped it and it fell out. Ooh, don't move it. Now it's a very thin shape. Let's say I take like a, I have a Christmas tree here. And I just mold a bigger, thicker object. So you should, maybe not, I moved it too much. I was thinking you could stand it up. You probably could easily stand that up. Let me see, what do we have? Okay, here we go. I have to remind myself to grab the sand so I can just compare two piles. Who else do I have here? So he's done, he's done. I'm just doing some of the ones I have right here with me. Get more of that. So as you can see, it does hold and makes really nice patterns. Ooh, he fell. Get in there. I mean, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Really defined. It's really defined. It holds the shape and the definition of what you're doing. And I'm not really spending a lot of time either shaping them. I thought I had another... Charlie Brown here. Running out of room already. Where did I put it? There's my Snoopy. Oh, I guess not. I have a gingerbread man, but uh, we'll just leave these like this for now. Now we know how that works. So let me move them out of the way. They're pretty cool. Seems like they set up pretty nice. Let me just cut some. Get some out from underneath my dinosaurs so you can kind of see me cut something. I could pack it really nice. Look. Here, I'll fossilize something for you in the middle. It's now in the middle of my stuff. My kinetic sand, that is. Let's see if we can show you inside. Ooh, look, see? He's hatched. Get over there. Let me do another one. Not going to show you what I'm putting in there. Oh, did I show you? Sorry. <laughs> Let's see. There he is. So let me cut it again, because it cuts really nice. Packs nice, cuts nice. Look at that, see? You hear it too. All right. I wonder if they're gonna glow. Let me see if they glow. I'm gonna turn off the lights and check and see if they're gonna glow. They do glow really nice, check them out. And that wasn't too long in the light, so yes, now I can play in the dark with my kinetic sand and my glow-in-the-dark dinosaurs. I know it's hard to see. I just wanted to see if they worked, and they do. See them? All right, back to light. Sorry about that. All right, so I adjusted my lighting just a little bit, um, and uh, these work great. So I might show those in another video and what they all are, but... Let's get them out of the way, because I did promise you a little bit more here. Why not? And let me move my kinetic sand over and bring in the sand. 
I'll just dump it right next to it. And this is sand. Now sand, they say, is 98% sand and 2% polymer. It is a different color, as I can see right off the bat. And you can see now, it's a totally different color. Well, still in the shades of brown, but... I'm going to say this one looks more like real sand color. And this one has a grayish hue to it, but... Let me... I need to get rid of my... Ooh. Peanuts characters. Here's Charlie Brown. Here's his head. Sorry, Charlie Brown, my Snoopy. Still a nice pile. Can you see the difference in color? So, a lot of people wondered, are they the same? Is it the same, you know, product? Does it do the same things? I'm going to say, shape-wise, yes, it feels in my hands pretty much the same. This one does seem a little, hmm. Let me see. Let me just try to pack it a little bit more. I'm just trying to get an idea here. This cuts the same. Look, I can make a pie. A pie piece of sand. I like that sound. You hear that sound? That is the coolest sound. Try to get equal size piles here. I mean, they're so close. It's hard to say they're that different. This one does seem a little softer. Let me just lump up two. Two individual balls here. Now I am right-handed, so I'm squeezing harder in my right hand. And my son seems to be not wanting to hold as good as this. Let's just see. See, it's a little lumpier. This was sticking to my hand, too. I wonder why. Could just be humidity. There's a lot of humidity where I'm at. Get one of my trucks in here and drive over it. See if we can tell. Could you have fun with this? Yes, you should have no problem having fun with kinetic sand. Yeah, see they're holding pretty good, pretty much the same. Look at all my tire tracks. Let's just do a quick... Let me get something to... I'll use the lid. I'm going to take the sand lid cut and mold a shape out of each. So that's a nice simple shape. This was the sticker. There's a sticker on the inside that's coming up just a little. This is what's causing that, this little piece here. Now we have two similarly packed. Can't pick that one up. Let's see, I picked that one up like that. Let's see. Yeah, this one broke apart a little bit easier. Cutting. Well, I think it's clear. They are slightly different. They are both really cool. They both hold their shape. They both cut really nice. They are different colors. Can you tell? Let me do a top down and just fill the whole screen. 
you should be able to tell that they are different in color, yes? And then let me just zoom in on the pile so you can kind of, you know, see if I can zoom in how far I can go before it goes out of focus. And you can see the two now. You touched. The two of you have touched. You're now kinetic sand. I figured someone would want to see me mix the two, so that's what I decided to do, because they touched. Why not? So now they're both mixed. Doesn't seem much different. There you go. What do you think? I'll keep that out so that I can put these back in their original containers. It's nice that the sand has a plastic container. This one, I have to find a container for it now to store it. So there you go. That is one comparison. And there's going to be another comparison because the next video will show you this one. It is called sands alive so it's another version of a sand that kind of molds and does the same thing so then we'll compare all three and see what they're like and thanks for watching it's really appreciated if you want to see more videos like this look in the description for a playlist or search our channel later if you want to find this item click the link in the description area below the video you can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here thanks for watching and always remember if you see a lucky penny Pick it up!